Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is Sis, Sisters. <clears throat> Season 1, episode 13. I'm wondering, did sisters get way more episodes in the Oval? Because the Oval is on vacation until May, and sisters is still going. So I'm like, okay, I guess I, I guess so, honey. We're going to see what it is, okay? But anyway, first things first, if you have not done so already, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and become a whole J-Bird. J-Bird. Dun, 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 and all that goodness and stuff. Hmm, center yourself. Namaste. And all that stuff, okay? Do not forget to also like, comment, and share this video. You can also follow me on IG and or Twitter at J underscore Lee's underscore corner. is either on the screen somewhere, or if it isn't, it is in the description box. The link to all of my social media, emails, at uh, P.O. boxes, all the information you need to know is always in the description box. Okay. Anyway, so Karen is still in shock because Aaron's crazy ass ex-wife has went on ahead and shot herself dead to the bed. I said, oh, she committed a whole girl. I said, she took herself out of these stories. Okay. Now, you know, oh my God. Is she what happened? Oh my god, get it off! And she realizes bling is bling spatter on her. Oh my god, get it off me! Get it off me! She in the wash bowl, okay, with the both washing the hair, and she's trying to wash her face off. Oh my god, is she dead? Is she dead? I'm like, if she not, she gonna need that brain matter back. Cause on your girl, get the brain matter off your shirt. If ever there is brain matter on a person, the person whose brain matter it is. They're no longer with us. I'm like, I, I'm just saying, she ain't here no more. And Karen is just freaking, 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 freaking out, okay? She is in a whole namaste pose, sitting at the washbowl, just, honey, she is hysterical. Okay, she is hysterical, okay? It's, girl, mm, mm, mm. but I mean, that's, that's when the girl, I would, I would be too droopy toe. Anyway, over at the bank. Okay, we see Maurice and Sabrina chit-chatting up, whatever. And Maurice introduces Sabrina to this dude right here. I want to say his name was Javier. I wasn't listening too well. I kept putting him as bisexual friend, okay? So Maurice introduces Sabrina to bisexual friend. I'm saying, hey, we gonna come over, for, over tonight for dinner, okay? We gonna come over tonight for dinner. And you know what I'm saying? Just do whatever. What? Oh, okay. So she says, okay, when, you know, the dude, okay, all right, bye. And then when he leaves, Maurice... What is you doing? What's going on? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to come over for dinner, okay? I'm going to get y'all look it up, and then we're going to see where it goes. We're going to see if Calvin likes penis or if he just likes vibrators because they're two different things. I mean, uh, I, I don't want a man who wants a vibrator up their butt. I just don't. That's just not my cup of tea. I don't, you know, I, 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 I haven't even, I haven't even had, I'm going to ask him that tomorrow. Uh, he's going to cuss me out. Ooh, he's going to cuss me out. But I feel, I feel like there are certain men where you just know that ain't they, that ain't they judge. You know what I'm saying? That ain't they judge. And you, I'm, I'm, mm -mm. nope, not going to do it. I'm not going to get cussed out tomorrow. Anyway, so, you know, she can, I don't want to do this. I don't want to set him up. No, 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 no. Even though she wants to really find out if he's gay or not. I'm looking like, he wants vibrators up the butt. Even if he isn't bisexual or gay, can you do that for the rest of your relationship? If you can, whether he's gay or straight shouldn't matter because you are okay. You are okay with putting vibrators up his booty. And I'm like, girl, moving on. Anyway, so, they like, whatever, she gonna do it anyway. And then Calvin walks in. He's like, hey, Sabrina. Hey, Calvin, what you what you, what you doing here? Oh, I can't see you in person because I wonder, you know, you've been acting a little funny lately. Like, I thought we had a great time last time. You know, we had some really great sex. She's like, oh, yeah, you know, I feel like, you know, I'm not, I'm not acting funny, but I do feel like I'm saying you may have enjoyed, you know, it more than me. Like, I thought you had a great time. I thought it was amazing. Well, it was. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know what? 
let's let's just talk about it later. I'm like, first of all, why are you at my job speaking about our sexual encounters? Why? Who does that? I wish a motherfucker would come up to my place of employment and then be in the front lobby where people standing around talking about how good. They don't need. They don't need no nothing about our stuff. Like they don't need no. Text me that shit, bro. Leave it be somewhere else. Don't bring it to my place of employment. But I digress. Anyway, it's like, look, let's talk about it later. Okay, well, how about that? Are you going to read? Yeah, we haven't dated the night at her house. You coming because you invited. She was going to invite you to just be there or be square. He's like, oh, really? She's like, yeah. So I see, tonight I'm looking like, girl, I guess so. He walked away in them boots. His boots sound like heels, okay? Now, I know those just sound effects or whatever, but I'm like, them boots sound like heels. But you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Now, over at the airport, Zach freaking out, okay? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Daddy. Oh, my God. I got a whole baby on the way. I cannot believe she pregnant. I mean, you fucked her. Did you even attempt to use a condom? I, f- I feel like homeless men don't want to use condoms because they want to get a girl knocked up and feel like I got a place to stay for the next 18 years. I'm like, Zach, how you out here cheating with no condoms? I'm like, that's just stupid, okay? That is stupidity. And anyway, you know what I'm saying? And Karen, uh, Karen, Dan, like, you know, you need to tell Karen because I ain't got time for Karen being upset with me because of your lies. Okay, tell her immediately, okay, before I have to do it, okay? Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Um, there was, oh, because we had a great night. I won't tell her, like, the night was amazing. She's like, look, Zach, I've seen you naked. I know what you work with. I don't want to hear nothing about you and Karen because I can imagine it, okay? I'm like, mm, mm, mm. Then, Zach gets a call on his cellular phone, okay? And it's like, who is this? Oh, hey, Karen. It isn't Karen. It's Pam. Pam, what you, what you, why are you calling me on Karen's phone? <clears throat> My voice ain't not y'all, sorry. Why are you calling me on Karen's phone? Well, you know what I'm saying? Uh, there was an accident, an incident that happened, you know what I'm saying? And somebody here shot themselves, and they said they did it because Karen was with their husband or whatever. But Karen was hysterical, so they took her to the hospital. Okay, I'm calling to let you know. Like, Karen wasn't shot, but she went crazy because the lady killed herself in front of her. Okay, so get down there immediately. I say, well, go ahead and do that thing. Anyway, on the way there, because, of course, Zach can't drive anywhere because that owns a bike okay and he's also on probation now dandy like i would drive don't worry about it but daddy rode around dirty she ain't got tags or a license or nothing okay so they're driving real slow now they riding around or whatever he's like i can't believe karen was messing with some guy okay and had his wife come up in there and kill herself i can't believe I can't, oh i'm just so upset i can't believe she was dealing with somebody else they like you got a whole baby on the way. Like you, you got a whole baby mama. Like what did you, what do you care what she did while y'all wasn't together? You knock somebody up. Oh, this is gonna be funny, okay? When you ask her about the man she's dealing with, but then tell her about your new baby mama. Whatever, Danny. Whatever. I mean, it's true. Now, Andy at home crying. Andy at home crying. She called Sabrina and her husband. I'm going to be over there in 20 minutes. What kind of job does Sabrina have where she can consistently leave work whenever she wants to? Does she own the bank? I don't know. Anyway, but you know what I'm saying? As she's sitting there, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so sad. She gets this stuff from who? Crying ass Gary. Okay, Gary, Gary, not Gary, that was Greg. Greg came back talking about I left my car key, my, my key card. Because remember when he left last time, he tossed his whole wallet. Huh, 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 take it all. I don't care. But he did that and he accidentally, well, or, 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 I don't know, he went away, left the key card and then whatever. And you know, well, you might as well take it because, you know, she left it here. So it doesn't really matter. Now, Gary crying, you know, it's all my fault. I'm saying for me and you. And falling in love with you, you know what I'm saying? While I was still married, you know what I'm saying? I should have left her first. Should have left her first, you know what I'm saying? Because you, you, you a good woman, Savannah. If you don't know where that's from, you're too young to watch. You're this a, this a good man, Savannah. Anyway, you're a good woman. You don't deserve to be in the middle of my bullshit, okay? And I, I won't bother you no more. And she, okay, I know. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I will leave you about I know, but just just know, Andy, just know. I never lied to you. <sighs> I wish I could take it all back. <laughs> oh, 
like, nigga, boy, bye. Anyway, so, and she's like, I know. I know, okay. He like, you know what I'm saying? I can, you know, I, 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 she can have it all. She can have everything as long as I can have you. And she's like, hmm. I'm saying, but she wants to fire me. She wants to sue my company. She wants to do, give me this bar. So it's a lot going on. It's a lot on my shoulders. But what can I do to help? What can I do to help you? You know what I'm saying? I'll go back to her if it helps. I would do that, okay? But if I do that, I won't be able to see you. She was like, I know. I know. And then all of a sudden, all his tears dried up. His face became clear. Okay, like he's like a, he just clear. I'm like, where the tears go? Where does not go? Where that go? He's like, oh, oh, you so cold. I'm like, he's a whole different person. Okay, uh, you know what I'm saying? Did you even love me? You know what I'm saying? How could you not tell me not to go? How could you not tell me to stay and be? And how can you not give up everything to be with me? She's like, nigga, I work my ass off to get what I gotta get away. You're like, well, I work hard too. She's like, look, I look, I can't do that. I, but I can take care of us. I don't want to be taken care of, Gary. Oh, well, you're the first woman I've ever known to not want that. And I'm like, this Negro here, okay? But I'm like, not all his tears go. He really wants her to give up everything, okay? Give up everything to, yeah, get fired, get this bar. You don't have no case. You can't practice law, but you can be my wife, and I can give you all the money you want. I'm like, that ain't what she want. That ain't what she want, okay? And so, we're like, but I can take care. I don't want that. I don't want you taking care of me, okay? He's like, you know what? Fine, you're so cold. I'm not cold, Gary. Just listen. And he walks off. He leaves. I'm like, bye. I'm gonna go back to that hellhole. My wife. We'll go back then, bastard. You should never left. Okay. And so now he's gone. He he really came back trying to beg, begging and pleading for her to give up her whole life for him. Man, fuck you, Gary. Anyway, we see a little short scene of Sabrina and Andy talking, you know, she didn't came over. And, oh, my God, Gary said this. And, oh, my God, Gary said that. And I do love him. And I do believe him. But I don't want to give him my whole life for him. I, I don't know. What am I supposed to do? And Sabrina don't really give advice. It's like, Sabrina, it'll be okay. Oh. She gives sound bites and not advice, okay? And, and like, you know what? I should talk to Karen, because Karen gives advice. I thought, you know what, you're about right. Anyway, at that point in time, we see Daddy calling, okay, to tell them what happened to Daddy. I mean, what happened to Karen. I'm like, first of all, the fact that Karen, the girl called, just, how the girl called Danny and not Andy or some girl, I don't know. But anyway, now they're on their way to the hospital, too. Now, you know, Karen at the hospital, whatever, and, you know, uh, Zach and Danny get there first. Oh, my God, are you okay? What happened? I'm okay. I'm okay. Were you, are you hurt? Were you, like, shot? No, it wasn't me. I'm okay. Okay. And they're like, well, did you know the lady? Like, what happened? Like, well, no, I, 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 didn't, I didn't know her at all. And Zach was like... But the Pam said that the lady said before she took herself out that you should leave her husband alone. What does she mean by that? Okay, what husband? I don't know. I don't, I don't know her husband or whatever. I'm like, why? Why is she lying? You did do. She then said, I look. I only spent some time with him, but it was nothing. Like, oh. Oh, it's so, okay, fine. So at this point in time, she's like, but this is not the time for questions. And they're like, Zach, shut up. Say she's right, say you're sorry, and move fuck on. Okay, just shut it up. Okay, anyway, it's fine, 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 cool, cool, cool. So then, Zach, like I'm saying, well, you know, you messing with people, sometimes things happen or whatever. I'm saying accidents happen or happy accidents, bad accidents, surprise, and you know what I'm saying? It can, it can be babies and things, or whatever. Are you pregnant? Like, you, if you're pre- if you're accident, if you mistakenly got pregnant, I would forgive you and it would be okay. She like, nigga, what are you talking about? I'm just, no, I'm just saying, I'm like, cause he, he's having diarrhea of the mouth, cause it ain't making no sense at all, okay? So so then, Danny on the outside, because she's looking for the doctor to discharge uh, Danny. And the nurse is kind of being a bit of a bitch or whatever. Oh, hey, B-itch, Tris. Okay, is it B-itch? I'm like, oh, Lord, Danny finna beat up the goddamn gun. Charge nurse. But here come Karen and, not Karen, here comes Andy and Sabrina. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Where is she? What's going on? Oh, my God. Focus, Danny. If I'm not y'all the one to focus. Kind of fucking take a breath. Calm thee down, okay? Anyway, they're like, where's she at? She over there. 
So her and Zach come out the room with now she's been discharged. So her and Zach come out. Oh my god, I can't oh my god. Okay, let's leave. And he like, Where y'all where y'all taking her? What what what's going on? And they say, She's going to the sister circle. He's like, What that's a, is it a coat? What is what is a sister circle? What what is that? It's a coat? I'm like, no. This friendship, okay? Anyway, you know what I'm saying? So, they walk in with her. Gonna take her to the house. Get some wine. You know what I'm saying? Rub her head. Look, cool, cool, cool thing. But we see as they walking out, Karen sees Aaron in the other way, in the waiting room, okay? And he's so, so sad. And she's like, that's, that's her husband. And she kind of just glides through the doors over there to Aaron, okay? And they hug and embrace. And you see he's crying. <laughs> or whatever, okay? And they like, ooh, don't, Zach is right around the corner. Like, I don't think we should let this, this. What if he see? Man, forget about Zach. And here comes Zach. I know that guy. That's the dude she was trying to play me in front of. And he was all, I, I, know, ooh, I, I knew it. Ooh, I, I, ooh, I knew it, okay? And he wants to go in there and fight. And I'm like, first of all, at any other hospital, okay, when any people was being as loud as they were, security would have been, came and escorted them people out. I mean, just put them out, Jesus. I remember when my dad passed away, when they told us, of course, we all screamed. We all, it was like 30 of us, and we all screamed. And the fucking nurses literally called security and said that we were too loud. I mean, I, I, I mean, the moment they said, they, the, the moment we found out <laughs> my father had passed away, they called security and said the family in the waiting room for the deceased is being too loud, crying. Cut that bitch out the whole time. Anyway, that that was the thought. But anyway, they in there f- being loud, telling us that to calm down. And now Andy wanna be like, you need to leave, okay? You sh- I'm like, but you couldn't tell Gary married ass to leave. At least Zach's single. He a cheater, but he's single. Andy, Andy tripped me. I don't wanna be high and mighty, but you're here fucking focus okay anyway they had Zach leave. But before they do, you know what, cause he's so upset. <laughs> then they gonna say you acting all upset like you ain't got a baby on the way. They like what? He got a baby. What? He like God damn it, Daddy. Well, I'm you. You do. He's like okay, yes I do, but I I just found out or whatever, and I have to tell um my was it and I have to tell Karen or whatever. Leave. You need to get the fuck. I said okay. So he leaves. We leave. They you know what? Fuck all y'all. All y'all, and he leaves or whatever. So. We then see Aaron is in there crying. Oh my God, Karen. Thank you so much for being here with me. You know, for coming. And she's like, you don't know why I'm here? So he didn't know where, his, he didn't know, he didn't know that she died. He didn't know nothing. And she was like, she came to my salon and she put a gun out and she shot herself right in front of me. He's like, oh my God. But he ain't no, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Uh, she was begging me to leave you alone to not see you. And then she killed herself. And he's like, oh my God. And they hugging, okay? Now, as they hugging, this white old woman walks in, okay? And she walk in and it's the crazy, the crazy mama's wife. Okay, the crazy wife's mama. Come in, you know what I'm saying? And she slaps Aaron. Boom. You, I can't believe you up on this whore. Okay, y'all gonna rot in hell for you know you out here sleeping with a married man. She's like, I did not sleep with him. What are you talking? Oh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's y'all for my daughter's blood is on your hands. I said, Oh, really? And then, as you see, everyone's shocked as what's going on. Okay, and as they're walking out, and they're gonna say, Oh, you kiss God with that mouth, the power of price compelled you. I said, You know what? The actress who plays Danny deserves. All the accolades, all the awards. She's amazing with her timing and her deliverance of her of her line. She said, "Oh, the power of price compels you." Nice sweater, and then walked out. I said, "They taking care of now." I'm like, "Girl," but she, my daughter told me that you were messing with her. I said, "Did your daughter tell you they got divorced?" I'm like, "Are we are we ignoring the fact that he went to Aunt, to Andy and got a whole divorce? Are we ignoring the fact that that was his ex wife?" 
are we ignoring the fact that he divorced her for cheating on him with his friend had a whole affair but here come white mama fish upset because her cheating that dad that daughter is dead your daughter cheated and couldn't handle it and killed herself that ain't no Aaron that's on your wife I mean on your daughter that's on you raised her oh heifer anyway and then she leave I'm just like he divorced her for cheating she was cheating. She was having a whole affair with his friend, okay? Benji or Buttons or whatever that man's name was, but I digress. Anyway, so over at Sabrina's house, you know what I'm saying? Sabrina not there, of course, but we see Maurice, bisexual friend, and 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 Kavanaugh show up. And Maurice know where the key to the house is, so he just let himself in the house or whatever. And so, you know, he getting a little wine together or whatever, and then bisexual friend, oh, Calvin, are you, are you and Sabrina dating? Oh, no, nah, man, we just, you know, no, no, it's, it's your girlfriend. He say, no, nah, we just like, we getting told each other. Oh, well, she's a lucky woman oh well thank you whatever he's like so are you into men he said oh no no i'm not no nah, i'm not i'm not and he like maurice damn and he like what you told me was coming here to you know find out if he was gay and i'm like who first of all the fact that maurice told sabrina bisexual friend knew the reason he was coming over why would he say that i'm like that's not girl anyway that's not a prayer for you so at this point in time calvin didn't realize the point of the whole thing was a trick a ruse okay a whole a, a, a farcity i may i may have made farcity up i may have because i make a farce a T, but it was fake. Okay, it was it was all fake man. And he's a little like I can't believe her. Okay, she's still like a question, am I gay or not? I'm like you put a vibrator up your ass. It's not like he the I could get over the, the man kiss thing, even the underwear, but the vibrator up the anus is not that's that's my line right there. So he said, you know what? Okay, let's Let's do this. So then he sends Sabrina a picture of all of them together at her house drinking wine. Okay. And so I'm like, mm. but Sabrina is over at Karen's house and they over there consulting her or whatever. And they act as if Danny asking questions about what happened and why the lady guilty did. Danny, stop asking questions. No. And we at a sister circle and we all been supportive. We should know the fuck going on. Like how, as your friend, if I can ask you, why, why, how, if I can't ask you what happened, we're not friends. Point blank, period. Okay, I, I'm saying that. I, when someone you don't know does, so, I'm not saying if your family member dies, I should ask what happened. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, why did this strange woman come do, like, what happened? You, I'm going to ask all the questions, but I digress. Anyway. Um, can I, I don't want, I don't want to talk about, I don't want to talk about it no more, like, leave it be, leave it be. I said, we're fine, leave it be then. So, at that point in time, you know what I'm saying, we do see Sabrina leave because she goes home. And she gets home, and she hears sex noises coming from a bedroom. Can it sound like it's a whole threesome going on? And I'm like, you hear, you hear sex noise. I'm not going, <laughs> not going to make me that shit. <laughs> too much information but she hears it from the living room she's like oh my god what's going on and she walks to the room and it goes off so i mean it was a good episode i told her sisters is going on me but whatever anyway i'm done <laughs>